everybody, it's your boy Kev, and I'm back with another unboxing. Uh, in tunes, this video is uh, for this particular box is extremely late for this came out. I want to say maybe maybe uh, November-ish of 2022, maybe October-ish. I'm not really sure, but it is the uh, Dark Knight's Metal. Uh, normally. I would be in my basement filming this, but there's a situation going on in the basement, so I'm going to be doing this right now in my dining room. This is the outer box. You got Batman with the title right there, Dark Knight's Metal. Now, for those who don't know anything about Dark Knight's Metal, this was the sequel to uh, the previous comic, which was Dark Knight. Um, what the actual other comic was called um, for those who know the comic you can look it up and tell me just how shameful you are of me to not know the name of it but this is the sequel to that comic um, and so that's the top part of the box and around the box we just got this going on with the crackling uh, on the side of the box, we just got uh, World's Finest Collectibles DC right there. And on the back, we have the Batman Who Laughs. Now, the Batman Who Laughs, for those who might want to know, is pretty much an alternate universe uh, in the Darkverse where Batman, Bruce Wayne, uh, kills, winds up killing the Joker, and the Joker has this toxin that pretty much... Um, spreads to this way he doesn't die and whoever kills him becomes the joker and bruce wayne loses it and he winds up killing the joker goes a little bit too far and yeah that is how he came to be so i stand corrected this is the um original this isn't the sequel not just yet all because of that right there the image but this is the inside of the box. Got Superman that was poisoned by the Batman Who Laughs. One of the amazing cover arts for a comic for, for that. It was just all around. It was all around. This is amazing. Bring that back real quick. All right. Inside the box, we have the card. Now, if I remember this, I'll definitely show what's on the other side of it. For everything that's inside the box that we want that we're gonna go over I'll put that to the side over here and in here is the culture fly they also do a Dragon Ball Z let me know if y'all want me to do that maybe I'll order that culture fly for Dragon Ball Z I guess that's what it's what you can expect I think that's like that looks like a hoodie a peach Vegeta socks tube socks so this is just all the other stuff that comes in there. Now, obviously this is old. Maybe you can still scan it if you want to, but this is clearly old. Um, that uh, this deal might be over and done with. But Culture Fly, they do Marvel, Hero Academia. Ooh, the Avatar Last Airbender? Yo, hey listen, I only do DC. But let me know if y'all want me to do the Avatar. And we saw Dragon Ball Z on the other side. So let's see. I don't see it on here. But let me know. Because I don't know about Marvel. But let me know about the Avatar Last Airbender. Ooh, Star Wars too. Let me know about that as well. Maybe I might get into that. And see what Dragon Ball Z falls under. That might, that might be awesome. Alright, let's get into it. So I think this is this is the vinyl. We'll check that out a little later in the video. This might be the pint glass. All right, let's just move this box to the side. Again, I'm sorry that you guys see my radio that my parents bought for me back in 2005. I was so hyped. I was like, why did you guys get my sister a radio? I want a radio too. Still works. So I had this thing since 2005, y'all. Shout out to Sharp. I don't even know if they still exist. Yeah, it was amazing. I had a YouTube 
just to make sure everything was working right. And it was. Anyway, so this right here, I already opened it. It's the pint glass. We're going to take a look at it. Dark Knight's Metal. This is the box that it comes in. That's the cover of the box it comes in. This is the Joker Dragon. Batman up top, Wonder Woman to the side, Superman on the other side. It just says pint glass again. And then this is what it looks like. A picture of it. Put that to the side. It comes in the styrofoam. You heard it. You see it. Comes in the styrofoam. And let's see if I can scooch this down just a tad bit. Uh, all right, there we go. I want to open it. Yeah. Ooh, it's a black cup. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. The styrofoam to the side. Look at this cup. Yes. It's the inside of it. Looks amazing. Um, I bet so. well, I'll clean it before I drink out of it. But yeah, this is, it feels great. It doesn't feel like all like plasticky. The picture, the image of it, it's really on here. Um, I would not advise to put this in a dishwasher. So wash by hand and let it, you know, dry itself. I have plenty of these type of cups. Um, I got like a Wonder Woman cup, Superman, Mar um, Captain America, Wolverine type stuff like that. I love these type of cups. This is, I don't want to be not too hard, but hold on, wait, bring it to the mic. That, that's real glass right there. That's real glass. And I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I like it. I can't wait to drink out of it. That's going to be my, my go-to cup. It's all black. So that's amazing. Up next, we have this bag. I have pre-looked at the uh, the card. So I know what it is. It's a tote bag. Tote. And this is... Eh. Dark Knight's Metal, I guess, whenever you go shopping. This is what it looks like. I don't know what to do with tote bags. Um, I, you know, I normally carry my comic books, but I got, like, a book bag for that. But, um, you know, I guess you go grocery shopping, you want to show off that you're a comic, you know, that you're into DC, you know, let them know. That's the outside of the bag. There's nothing on the back. It's just, it's all black. It's good material. It's nice and, you know, steep enough. So, sorry. Nothing inside, but that's the tote bag. I can dig it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I know I am going to use it. Up next, we have this. Here is uh, a patch, I think. Oh, let me look at it. An, uh, an Epsi pin? An Epsi pin. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but let's take it out the package. It feels good. The back. Is it a sticker? Oh yeah, it is a sticker. So it's like one of those like one of those patches where you can it's so sick. Look at that. Dark Knight's metal. That's Batman on a motorcycle. And that's that's the uh, Batman Who Laughs mouth. If you have not read, Batman Who Laughs kinda he overstayed his welcome and the people at DC Comics definitely like overshot him. He's not. He's. He was very interesting and good when when they did this comic. He overstayed his welcome. Um, but yeah, if you ever get a chance, go to a comic book store, check that out. But um, as you can see right there, focus, focus, focus. You got DC Comics right there. This is cool. So. It, I, what I think this is, is like, because it has like the sticker type thing. Back in it. 
So I think this is, you peel this off, you put it on what you want it on, and it will stay there. But if you want to sew it on or stitch it on to whatever the clothing you want it to be on, you can do that. So that way it's definitely going to stay on there just by because of the sticker. But then it also will definitely be on there because then you'll sew it on. So that's amazing. I'll put that to the side. Um, yeah. Put it to the side. Anything else? There's more things. Trust me, we're going to get to because we still got, uh, we got three things to look at. This right here is the, the magnet set. It's a magnet set. But I only, well, let's just open it up. Because I only think there's one. And they said it's a set. Um, oh, I feel like there's another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's just. Um, one more. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's three of them. All right. So we'll focus that one at a time. So this is a magnet. So you got your Wonder Woman right there in the front. Oh, or is this the sequel? All right. It's probably, it's definitely both of them, but all right. So anyway, you got Wonder Woman up front. She, this is the invisible, or it was invisible, like chainsaw um, that she built with the uh, Lasso of Truth right there. You got Batman up top on his motorcycle. With the, I forgot what they call that thing right there. You know, the the person of death comes by. I don't know what they call it. Um, the person up here in the back. Oh man, I'm drawing a blank on her name, but apparently she's one. Of the, she's the person that created the DC uh, universe, and she wants to take it back over. And then of course you got Superman, the Boy Scout himself over there. If you not have yet to read this comic, definitely go to your comic book store and pick up the trade. Um, Cause there's like a lot of tie-ins. You don't need to worry about the tie-ins. I mean, some of the tie-ins matter, but just go and pick up the trade itself. The original one that led up, up into it and then and then the uh, sequel book. Um, this is cool. Um, you got the Batman Who Laughs. You got uh, Red Flash, I believe, or this is, so all of these guys right here are Bruce Wayne, except for her. Yeah, because, uh, well, wait a minute, focus. Where's the Aqua? Where's Aqua? Oh yeah, her. All right, so that's not Bruce, but like that's a female version of Bruce, you know. So we got Cyborg uh, Bruce, the Joker Bruce, the Flash Bruce, the Aqua Woman Bruce. Uh, you got the Green Lantern Bruce. You got the, what do they call it? Um, Doomsday Bruce. And then I forgot what, well, this has to do with Wonder Woman, um, but um, Hades, the Hades Bruce. So this is a cool magnet as well. I definitely will be placing them on the fridge. And last but not least, now if you, but before I go to that one, um, if you want to read it, cause each story was amazing. Um, definitely his story was amazing. I told you a little bit about his, how Bruce became the Joker. This story was crazy. Definitely want to read that. Um, everything else was, I wouldn't say they were lackluster, but this was, this was crazy. This is one of my favorite ones. No, I mean, I'm a Martian Manhunter fan, um, but the Flash comes in like not that far behind Batman. All right. But, um, and then we, here we go. We have them up close and then this is a Robin, but this Robin is not who you think it is. It's not Tim Drake. It's not. Um, Dick Grayson, it's not uh, Jason Todd, it's not Damian Wayne. This is actually a kid Bruce before he became an adult, so like that's crazy. So, that is these are are these guys 
But like it's better form so this way you can see them. And get a better picture of them. And that's that's amazing. Definitely is amazing. Put that to the side. We got waxed. We got anything else? Oh, yeah. I want to show this before I get to the next item. And wait, is this the? Okay, so this is the Epsi pen. And the other one, the one that I showed you, was it? My fault, y'all. My fault. I'm so dumb. This is not an Epsi pen. This is an Epsi pen. I was a little confused. Like, I don't see how this is a pen. I don't see how this is a pen. But this is an iron on patch. So take the sticker off, put it on the shirt, and then you can iron on or stitch it. You know, I would stitch it for safe measures. Stick it on, iron it on, and then stitch it up. All right, so this is an iron on patch. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, and I apologize for that. And this is the Epsi pen. I was like, that doesn't look like a pen at all. Like, where in the world did they ever think that that would be a pen? But that's all on me. That's on nobody. By the way. Anyway, here's the pen. This is the Batman Who Laughs. See, Epsi pen. Batman Who Laughs. This is the, yeah, see, the Batman Who Laughs. This is the Epsi pen. This is what it comes on. You got two of these guys in the back. That would definitely uh, stick, sorry. That would definitely stick on to whatever you decide to put this pen on. Let's see, does it have anything on the back? I'm not really good with these pens, like keeping them safe. There you go, Culture Fly DC Comics S22. There you go. Little emblem of a butterfly. And it's a gold background. I'm not really sure if y'all can see that. It looks like it's a gold background. A gold trim around. And you got him in the middle. I think he was one of the cover arts. One of the, like a variant cover for a comic. Um, as I was saying, I'm not really good with these um, pens. I had got like maybe like six of these, like, you know, ever since I started unboxing, doing unboxing videos and pens came with the boxes that I've been getting. And I put them on my book bag, my comic book book bag. I have a book bag for my comic books only. So like I put my comic books in there. I got a Game Boy Color. Y'all seen that video? So I put the Game Boy Color uh, in my book bag and that, that goes with me everywhere I go, literally everywhere I go. And, um, these I put them on there, you know, to decorate my bag just a little bit, so that's why it's not like it's just a regular bag. And then like maybe like a few days, maybe a week goes by, and they just fall off and disappear. Mainly because this falls, these fall off, and then and then this. I mean, I, I I don't just throw my book bag now, but I do put them down in the truck I'll be on. People get on the truck and they just put their stuff down on top, and then. It loosens up so I can see how it happens but it's kind of like you know I don't know what to do with these pens other than other than to keep them other than to keep them now this is what I've been like looking forward to looking at this is the crew sweatshirt crew sweatshirt oh it's a really nice sweatshirt too it's a 3x because that's what I wear. I'm a big guy. Uh, put the camera up. Maybe right here, or you know what? I'll just bam, right there. All right. And then this is what it looks like. Yeah, I have a tag. It's black, all black, with the white picture in the middle. Of the fancy dance, you got you Wonder Woman, you got Superman over here, you got Batman over there, and he's on his bike. So just imagine all the other stuff that I showed you, a Batman being on a bike, and 
you know. But this is a cool sweatshirt. I mean, like I said, this came out, this box came to me around like Novemberish, maybe Octoberish. So appropriate for um for the sweater. It's just unfortunately, <laughs> I. I got a whole story that I went through, you guys. You don't even know. I went, it's a whole thing. That's why I haven't been really looking forward to doing the unboxing, but I got time, nothing else to do. So I said, let me record these right now while I got the chance. So um, I definitely will be wearing that. It's a cool shirt, cool sweatshirt. Here we go. The last thing, a vinyl a statue. The vinyl figure, the Batman who laughs. He is, uh, he is the guy that they made very, very popular and also kind of like um, played him out. Got to the point where the fans started to get upset. Like, yeah, why, why does he keep popping up everywhere? Like, one of those things. Like, why don't you just die? Type things. Like. I mean, he was very popular when they first brought him out, and it was cool and all, but like after a while, I'm like, all right, that's enough, that's enough. I'm gonna take him out of the box. That's where we can all, should I have taken him out from the bottom? Like, I really don't like to rip these things open, but. I oh, don't know. I'll do that. See, I have a little tape right here. One thing about. Oh. All right, we'll just rip it. Just rip it off. Now, out of all these vinyls that I've gotten so far, they they have been getting a little bit better over the boxes that I've been getting. That's amazing. So here we go. This is the Batman Who Laughs. Perfect detail. There's no, you, you can't move his arms and like that. This is what he looks like. This right here, they explain to why he has this ridiculous thing on his head. <laughs> it's because it's ridiculous. Like, how can you see? Um, but they go into detail of how he's able to see out of this and sure it works, right? Supposed to be from the bad multiverse, like like the dark multiverse of it all. So this is like jacket slash cape. His boots. You know, his chain around his his torso with his arm. See inside his mouth and all that. Yeah. Can he stand on his own? No. That's all right. The pain will stand. Yeah, and they're better packaged too. They almost feel like fungal pop. Um, fungal pop. Just about like how they got it like in there. Um, so we got the world's finest. Uh, the collection. DC. Batman. Warner Brothers. Batman and all related characters. And... Elements in DC Comics, Culture Fly, Made in China. Let's put them on a the stand. Let's do that right here. Put some more foot in. And shake it out of that. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it is all about. Hokey pokey. That goes there. Okay. So I was about to lose my mind. Like, why is it not going? It's kind of like you get one in, and the other one's like, all right, whatever. Unless the, it's the wrong one. Yeah, 
Here we go. On the stand. And oops. Do this. This is what he looks like on the stand. Amazing. 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 So. Alright, real quick. This is again the DC metal. This is the card. And if you want to pause it, you can. Is it too late to order this? Maybe, but they also might be still having it on there. Definitely go check it out. Um, this is like their Facebook, their Instagram, probably. Um, yep, fall of 22. So I guess the fall would have to be like October's. Um, yeah, so if you want to pause it and see if this is anything that you like. I also got another box that came in. I'm not going to do that recording just yet. And then I also have one coming on its way. So when that one gets here, now that I kind of have like a free time, I would definitely record for that one. Um, but the next one, the one that came in after this box, I definitely will do probably like, you know, record it tomorrow or something like that. Maybe, maybe a Friday, something like that. I'll record it and definitely have it out. Just where I kind of have like two videos back to back. Um, so, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys, ooh, <laughs> hope you guys liked it. As always, I've been Kev, you've been you. Let's stay in tune.